वेलकम टू वी लर्न दिस इज सेशन नंबर फाइव ऑफ एम आई एस टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू कवर डिफरेंट टॉपिक्स लाइक वॉट इज नॉलेज मैनेजमेंट वन परस्पेक्टिव ऑफ नॉलेज मैनेजमेंट वी आर गोइंग टू कवर क्लासिक डेटा टू नॉलेज हर आर की इंफॉर्मेशन प्रोफेशनल एज नॉलेज मैनेजर्स नॉलेज मैनेजमेंट एज ए टेक्नोलॉजिकल सोल्यूशन विल बी द पार्ट ऑफ टू डेज टॉपिक Apart from this, we are also going to cover people nets and process net, which plays a very important role in knowledge management. Learning and communication process model will be the part of today's session also. So let us learn that how knowledge management will help in learning and communication process. The first question is that what is exactly knowledge management? What are your ideas? What you you have read about it? what have you heard about it and what do you imagine about it there is one perspective of knowledge management which involves the blending of a company's internal and external and turning it into actionable knowledge via a technological platform means by making use of technology we can transform the internal and external information into such a information so that such some sort of action can be taken out let us under, understand the concept of knowledge management basically the knowledge management requires an understanding of the knowledge and knowing process and how that differs from information and information management classic data to knowledge hierarchy includes wisdom knowledge information and data wisdom is basically that stored information which reflects in the working of scenario knowledge when we talk about the knowledge it is the applied information which ultimately added some sort of experience and brings about the knowledge the information basically is called as a processed data which is incomplete at some part of time pro provides better processing information and accurate information data itself is called as a raw facts and figure which communicates nothing special that is incomplete and unprocessed form of data is called as a data from facts to wisdom that is as we move from data to wisdom the data become short in volume and accurate in terms of value in the hierarchy of the provided structure you can analyze that as the wisdom keep on increasing volume of the information keep on decreasing but the worth of that information it keep on increasing with the help of this structure subjectivity these facts can be verified means volume keep on increasing when we when we move towards the facts and figure and value keep on increasing when we move from facts to wisdom right means less is more than comes wisdom in the hierarchy of the provided pyramid after wisdom in the next hierarchy there is a knowledge intelligence information and then at last facts and figures knowledge management tools yes of course there are different knowledge management models available which helps the people to prepare the knowledge management system the first part in this model comes out to be documentalist technologist learner and 
communicator these are the three components of the knowledge management system which helps to build knowledge management information professional as knowledge managers the person who provides you the professional information they helps to manage the information so the role of documentist were the original multimedia professionals paul otlet began the international federation for documentation he wanted libraries to stop being depository and to become more dynamic in information transfer under the leadership of otlet the europeans not only collected and codified documents they developed networks and worked to exchange knowledge among people so this libraries are are not supposed to be the repository of or the depositories of data only they are serving as a dynamic form of information transfer next thing that comes in mind is how knowledge management provides you a technological solution yes of course it provides you a technical solution in terms of intellectual capital in terms of getting competitive advantage to expand the business to provide the solution at the internet intranet level and technological solution means this provides the an assets for the organization to have knowledge management as a asset obviously to maintain such asset we require some sort of technological infrastructure infrastructure also so that is why knowledge management will serve as a technical solution to expand the business to compete and survive in the competitive environment to retain it knowledge management as a capital intellectual capital rather it provides you an ultimate solution for the internet knowledge management system is a kind of asset for the organization and for using this asset of course we require technological infrastructure also people nets and process nets have a important role in managing the knowledge management for group learning applications people nets and process nets required to manage the knowledge management system even to connect individual with each other for mentoring and knowledge sharing knowledge management plays a very important role in this part also in the organization at certain point of time the decision taker has to take on the decision and for supporting their decision there must be some sort of decision support system so basically the knowledge management system will help the decision making person to take on the decision in a right way in a right direction so basically knowledge management will support the decision maker in making their decision sometimes even to sense some sort of data to share and respond to the signals coming from the environment for that purpose also we can make use of the knowledge management system so in this part people and process nets plays a very important role even to capture the ideas and turn them into the action we require such a repository where we can store such sort of data so knowledge management plays a very important role in this part the learning and communication process model innovation is a way of life yes innovation provides you a new way of doing the things same thing again and again and again flexibility and the ability to act quickly is necessary in a changing environment new projects can benefit from alliances and learning from in house experts and creative thinkers so innovation provides an opportunity for the creative thinkers to apply their knowledge with different styles to complete the same task knowledge management also serve as a learning and communication way in simple language knowledge management is an effort to capture 
not only the explicit factual information but also the tactic information and knowledge that exist in an organization usually it is based on the experience and learning of the individual employees in order to advance their organization's mission the eventual goal is to share the knowledge among the members of the organization so knowledge management will serve as the container of data where we can access the data we can share the data we can use the existing data in a very tactful manner in a very explicit manner so that effort that is spent on that knowledge management can be cash on at different parts of the organization by different member of the organization here is a learning and communication process in which knowledge management is considered as a repository of best practices best reports documents presentation slides and all this is worthful this collection is worthful for the organization to create a organized learning environment navigation can be performed for the active knowledge transfer export knowledge is there databases are there contact links are there export assistance as needed is there communication channels are there and these ultimately will helps in bringing about the communication at different parts of the organization and this communication will help in the decision making process in terms of profiles for customization push reports and news and collaboration tools so ultimately this knowledge management will act as a organization's learning tool so now let us discuss that now what is knowledge management so knowledge management is is basically an effort to increase the useful knowledge within the organization it provides you a way to do this by encouraging the communication offering opportunities to learn and promoting the sharing of appropriate knowledge artifacts so knowledge management provides you an excellent tool to learn from the provided opportunities by proper communication so before we end this session there is a do it yourself exercise for you you have to write at least 10 points for the same the first question of do it yourself exercise is what is knowledge management and this while explaining this answer you can take your daily life example your industrial examples that how this knowledge management will help to enhance the efficiency and effectiveness in the working area next question about is about the role of people net and process nets in knowledge management again you can introduce live examples regarding the people and process who make use of the knowledge management for their day to day transactions as well as for their strategic planning and organization planning with this we are going to finish this session thank you